husbandos and waifus welcome back to another episode the season finale of the reincarnation of the strongest exorcist in another world now i didn't have a question of the day last week and i don't have one this week uh the funny comment that i got was like oh did you know re-zero season three was announced of course i knew that anyways my boys we are here for the season finale of the strongest exorcist my boys Avi is going to jail why let's find out in this episode right now and also if you guys stay up later tonight eminence in the shadow last part that i have should be done so yeah just letting you guys know early who is the demon emissary though and that's so stupid because he's like you admit this don't you and she literally says what are you talking about because she obviously can tell she has no idea and then this guy goes so you refuse to admit it. are these freaking adults idiots Oh my god, these adults are threatened by these children! Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, what, what a way to end this season, too. I'm excited. I'm excited. I would 100% blame her. She's supposed to be protecting her students, right? The Empire is so lame, bro. Yo, the fact that you could tell Seika's pissed off. You could tell straight up by that smile. He's angry. He's pissed, dude. I, I can't wait to see him go on a rampage. <laughs> she knows, dude. She knows that Seika's up to no good. Oh, dude. She, and she knows. You know. You know she can feel Seika's freaking hockey, man. She knows Seika about to do some. Oh, uh, that's friendship, man. Hell no, he's not. He might say he is. No, he's not. Come on, Yifa. He's summoning the dragon. Oh my gosh, that eminent pressure, bro. She's been very sound, you know? She's been very sound of her reasoning, and I'm not mad at it. I do think, though, that Seika doesn't give a frick at this point, dude. <laughs> dude, I knew he was angry! <laughs> Yo, my gosh. Dude, he's angry bro he don't care i'm with it i'm with his anger i'm with it 100 dude wreak havoc my boy dude he's gonna wreak havoc i wonder if they're gonna go nutty this episode <laughs> i love how they're going all out on one student but to be able to make it all the way there What did he do? Did he just like fart on them? He caustic bombed those guys? I I look, I know it's bad when like the the character wants to get revenge. I guess cause I just went on the dark end, but I'm always with it. I love to see it. Oh. Ooh. Bruh. <laughs> they really think. That's a freaking massacre. If I was one of those soldiers, I would run. I would run and hide. Break that, dude. Oh, man. Oh, he has to he has to relay the actual truth because he doesn't know that demons are after her and everything. Oh, so you know what's interesting? They say the human hero reincar reincarnates once every few centuries at the same time as the Demon King, which Seika is, and they're the same age. Yeah, he's relaying that information, the things that he's dealt with in his life because he was all powerful and he's telling Ami about it. Like, they're going to go after you because you're this strong because they're scared of that power. His brother. And I think this is one of those imp important things where if you remember the uh, the holy princess was like, I'm always out on your side, Seika, always. So I feel like Seika has to remember that. Oh, it looks like Amu. It's so interesting because these two are the Demon King and the Hero. 
A single hero is no longer enough to conquer a city. So the the, the reason they're going to dispose of her is because they don't need the hero anymore. That's the stupidest freaking concept ever. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but then they, well, they, I guess only this guy, whatever his name is, realized that the Demon King is on the hero side right now. Oh. Ah, so he has to comply to that. And I totally understand that. I understand that, bro! Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, what is going to happen? Is he going to revive everyone? It's like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Hey, hey, now now there's no proof that he killed anyone. She's not getting stronger because Seika's protecting her pretty much. She's not overcoming adversity. What the heck is that? So she knows. <laughs> yeah, it seems like he has no choice. I mean, he has a choice too, but he just wants to help his friends. That's just the type of person he is. Oh, true. Yeah, he didn't get to do it. Adventure life is incoming. Oh, and then, and then we're not even going to see them meet up with Mabel in them. Why? Well, I, I hope he sees Mabel in them. Is that a letter to Seika and Namu? We could, sometimes we could read it out. I can't read it. <laughs> this is where it ends? Come on, man. There has to be more. Oh, and they're there. Hey, let's go. No, give me season two, please. Oh, uh, dude, this series is so good. Fudge, man. Oh my gosh, fantastic. There is a lot of, man, I feel somewhat conflicted. I feel like Seika should have left Ami there. But I agree with Seika asking, why should I trust you? There's just so much. And on top, but then at the same time, on the flip side, he revived everyone that he's killed. And it makes it makes uh, Fiona wonder like, okay, now everything that I was going to do is changing. So in a sense, it's like Seika did nothing wrong except help Ami break out. And there's no proof that it was him because they just got clapped and now they're in another city or another kingdom. And then it's nice that, that Mabel and Yifa were able to meet him up at the end. And it just, it, it leads on to season two of Adventures. I, I want that. I actually want that. Um, A lot of information with, regarding Amu, why she's not going to get any stronger is because she has the protection of Seika. And Seika, being the demon king of that generation, both born at the same time, and they're supposed to go head to head with each other. But, but it looks like that war between demon king and hero might not happen considering that they're friends. And I'm not even sure if Seika is aware. It hasn't been confirmed that he is aware that he is the demon king either, right? So, oh my god, there's, oh my god, dude, there's so much to unpack mentally that I just can't put into words because I feel like we need to have it laid out in the second season. I have no plans on reading a light novel or if there is a manga, I have no plans, guys. I, I like moving pictures. God damn damn it but yeah let me know your thoughts about this anime in the comment section below i thought this was uh, a bit underrated in my opinion i think uh i think more people were not enough people were talking about this anime and i thought it was like really 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 fun to watch so let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below and i'll see you guys later tonight for eminence